ExecPro is an independent software testing services provider for financial market infrastructures, delivering industry-recognized expertise and bespoke solutions for automation and testing to exchanges, both trade platforms, and banks across 20 countries. The firm also facilitates a variety of large-scale transformation programs related to DLT and cloud implementations at these systemically important organizations. ExecPro's core product, TH2, is designed to enable automation in functional and non-functional testing for complex distributed transaction processing systems. TH2 is an award-winning solution that helps regulated markets participants stay compliant and resilient to disruption while focusing on innovation and having the freedom to embrace emerging technologies most relevant to their clients' needs. This demo showcases a TH2 implementation for the functional testing of issuance, management and distribution of CBDCs, or central bank digital currencies, performed in the R3 sandbox for digital currencies. The Digital Currencies Sandbox is a software-as-a-service offering powered by Corda, a DLT platform built specifically for highly regulated industries. The first release of the R3 Sandbox for Digital Currencies provides an environment for users to explore the possibilities of a distributed ledger technology solution for CBDCs in a wholesale setting. In the Sandbox, a user can deploy their own private network to act as a central bank or any of the three wholesale banks. This pre-configured network contains six nodes, one node for the central bank, one for each wholesale bank and two notary or consensus nodes that are governed by the central bank. As a central bank, you can define and issue assets to wholesale banks on your network. You control access to the assets you create using member access states. You can also approve or deny requests from wholesale banks to exchange bonds for CBDC. As a wholesale bank, you can request to exchange bonds for CBDC if you have the correct member access state. Once you have the CBDC asset, you can execute push transactions, pull transactions, redemption requests, and DVP or PVP transactions. TH2 has enabled the testing of the entire message flow between the central bank and wholesale banks, including positive or production-like data testing. TH2 also made it possible to automate and execute test scenarios covering a complete business end-to-end -end cycle via initiating necessary flows, such as define a new digital currency token, issue an amount of token to themselves or another party, move an amount of token to another party, and redeem an amount of token. Let's look at the test library structure. The test scripts in this demo are written in Python, while TH2 supports many mainstream programming languages – Java, Kotlin, Python, C++, and is pluggable to the majority of modern open-source test drivers, such as Cucumber. First of all, we have to define the parties we are going to run tests for. The CBDC sandbox, used as a test environment for this demo, features the following participants – Central Bank, Wholesale Bank 1, Wholesale Bank 2, Wholesale Bank 3, and Bonds Issuer. The Sandbox network includes two notary services, which allow us to execute complex business scenarios such as a cross-chain atomic swap, which will be demonstrated later. We're going to interact with the central bank and a set of wholesale banks. Secondly, we've created a run file, which will orchestrate the test script's execution. We're going to run four test scripts. Let's look at the structure of one of them. Each request that a user initiates via a test script undergoes the following steps inside the TH2 test framework. TH2 takes data, the action and the necessary parameters from the corresponding step from a test script and sends it to the internal TH2 component where a message will be constructed. This message then goes to the component which encodes it into an HTTP request in the REST API format. This request will be sent through the defined connection to the test system. TH2 captures the response from a test system in order to verify it in a separate component, check1, where the actual received response will be compared to the expected result predefined in a test script. Let's review test scenario 1. It's an example of a simple script that covers several flows such as issuing and redeeming a digital currency token. The central bank, as the issuer, manages custody permissions of an asset through member access states on the R3 sandbox for digital currencies. The issuer has the option to add a member access state control when they are defining an asset. In our case, the control has been applied. Therefore, Wholesale Bank 1 must have a valid member access state to be able to receive, hold and transfer a specific asset. 
the notary will not notarize a transaction if the member access state is invalid. The first step is to specify the necessary variables, as well as define that the requests will go through notary service 1. The second step is to check the amount of bonds associated with the central bank. Once it's done, a request to define the CBDC token will be initiated from the central bank. We're going to run four test cases, which will be executed one after another. Let's start. There are connection modules for each participant of the test script, which are responsible for the interaction with the system under test. There are also codec components. A codec is a component responsible for transforming a raw protocol message into abstract format, and vice versa. It encodes the abstract message received from the ACT component into the message in the required format and sends it into the CON components. It also decodes the requests received from the system. The CHECK1 component is responsible for verifying decoded messages. Let's now see the result of test execution in the Sandbox UI. Go to the central bank entity. We can see the actual CBDC states created on the central bank as a result of the test execution. Test case 1, issue and redeem CBDC token in particular. If we open the CBDC tab, we can see all the available CBDC assets on the network. The member controls tab shows the issued member access states. A user can also see the requests incoming to the central bank and their statuses. The dashboard contains information about the amount of bonds in the vault. Let's go back to the home screen. By the time all our test scripts have been executed, and we can see that the list of transactions with the defined tokens has increased and shows all the actions processed by the central bank. At the end of test script execution, TH2 framework generates reports for a detailed results analysis. There are two types of reports that a user can benefit from, a default one and a custom one. Report Viewer is a web-based UI for TH2 reports. It consists of events and messages provided by another TH2 component, RPT Data Provide, which interacts with the data lake, or database, to retrieve events and messages by user requests. And messages are a collection of all raw data consumed or generated by the system under test. In the TH2 UI, you can investigate events and messages and link them together. The script generates a root event corresponding to the execution, which will contain all the related actions. Let's look at one of the steps and the result received more closely. We can see the request sent by the framework and the corresponding response. In our case, one of the tests is shown as failed due to a failed step. The tester can see detailed information about such an event in order to analyze and investigate the result. The report contains the comparison table which clearly indicates all the discrepancies between the expected and the actual results. Let's look at the home screen of Wholesale Bank 1. We can see all the tokens issued for the bank and their amount, as well as the transactions sent and received by the bank. We can see the member accesses associated with the bank and the states created during our test case executions. Let's go to the CBDC Manager screen. All available assets with their attributes appear here. The Access Control screen shows all member access states issued to the bank. From the Treasury dashboard, we can review all the asset types and the total amount held by the wholesale bank. The dashboard shows changes of balance for digital currency tokens over time. Additionally, let's look at the scenario validating a case of double CBDC token issuance. The sandbox should not allow a central bank to define a token with the same name twice. However, we are able to see that this action is not restricted by the application. We've prepared a test script where we define a token and then repeat the step.
As a result, there are two CBDC tokens with the same name, which is incorrect and indicates a potential problem in the application. We then initiate the issuance of the token to Wholesale Bank 3, validating that it's successful. The next action is to issue another amount of the same token to Wholesale Bank 3. The sandbox should reject such a request. However, it's accepted and executed successfully. This is an example of a negative scenario, which allows testers to expose potential weak spots in the application. The test libraries and tools ExactPro has developed over the years apply to various business contexts, from regulated markets to MTFs, from dark pools to clearing houses and brokerage systems. They've been successfully implemented in a wide range of technical and middleware infrastructures. Modern exchange platforms are highly sophisticated by design and require continuous testing to ensure their resilience. Our deliberate practice of software testing approach is based on modeling the system under test. This allows us to create test libraries that serve as an executable specification for such highly complex platforms. This is a systematic effort focused on achieving the specific goal of improving performance. Some of the key contributors to our success as a company include relentless learning from the most challenging transformational projects in the industry, adherence to our industry-proven principles of software testing, as well as staying focused on providing the necessary growth opportunities for our people. Get in touch with us via email or visit our website to learn more about ExactPro services, and do follow us on social media for the announcements of in-person events we will participate in in the next few months.